This is the honey badger, and don't let its size fool you. This is a ferocious animal. And its markings here are like anti-camouflage. They have the opposite effect of blending in. It wants to stand out. It wants everything to know that it's there and that it shouldn't be messed with. It has sharp teeth, sharp claws, and it has glands under its tail like a skunk, so it has the ability to make you stink. And if something does mess with the honey badger, it needs to be very careful because this area of skin right here is very loose. So if you were to bite down on it, the honey badger can turn around and start attacking you, or it can make you stink. So it's the full package. There have even been reports of the honey badger being bitten by black mambas, and black mambas are a very venomous, if not the most venomous snake in the world. And all that happens to the honey badger is it passes out for a little bit, then it wakes up and it continues on its merry way. So it's a very tough animal. It's very good at hunting on land, but it can also climb very well, so it can hunt in the trees. And it's not a very fast animal, but it has a lot of stamina, so it can chase its prey until its prey gets tired, and then it can go to town. And they're very good at digging as well, so they don't have a problem digging burrows for themselves, but if they're not in the mood, they'll just steal a burrow from something else, because nothing messes with the honey badger. And if there is a drought in the land, they will go to a dry riverbed and start digging there until they reach water. So it is very resourceful, very adaptable, very ferocious animal, the honey badger.